The basic idea in Gnosticism was that a heavenly star fell out of or descended from or was lured out of heaven into matter, into the dark realm. This heavenly substance then gave rise to the world and to light. It brought about creation because it was living stuff. A number of different terms or images were applied to the divine substance. It was often called the primordial man, the first man, the anthropos, which is the Greek word for man. Sometimes it was called naos or light. One common term for the heavenly stuff was Sophia, the divine wisdom. Jung summarizes this latter image. Sophia, who sinks into the lower regions, she was forcibly held captive by the lower powers. She corresponds to the much later alchemical idea of the soul in fetters. The soul, once turned toward matter, fell in love with it and burning with desire to experience bodily pleasures, was no longer willing to tear herself away from it. So was the world born. In Pistis Sophia, she is the daughter of Barbello. Deluded by the false light of the demon Othedis, she falls into imprisonment in chaos. A section from that passage in Pistis Sophia gives the feeling of this symbolic image, which is so important psychologically. It came to pass that Sophia looked below and thought to herself, I will take the light from that region and fashion for myself light eons. This, then thinking, she went forth from her own region and went below, and she came into the regions of the chaos and drew nigh to that lion-faced light power which is also called the self-will, that is the translation of the term Othedis. All his emanations surrounded her, and the great lion-faced power devoured Sophia, and cleaned out her light and devoured it and her matter was thrust into chaos. This is Yaldabot, of whom I have spoken unto you many times. When this befell, Sophia became very greatly exhausted, and that lion-faced power set to work to take away from Sophia all her light powers, and surrounded Sophia and pressed her sore, and pissed this Sophia cried out most exceedingly, she cried to the light of lights above, and uttered this repentance, saying thus, O light of lights, in whom I have had faith from the beginning, here can now. O light, unto my repentance, save me, O light, for evil thoughts have entered into me. Sophia has been caught, her light has been taken over by the lion-faced self-willpower. It is a provocative image, an image of ego development. Any kind of fall from heaven that brings heavenly light stuff down into the lower world corresponds to a fall into ego manifestation, which is what the expression self-willed points to. An example of this image occurred in a dream of one of Edward Edinger's patient. I descend into the basement of a whorehouse, run by a brutal man. I discover a bruised and battered young woman, who nevertheless had a glowing beauty. I kiss her and awaken her. I am overcome momentarily with a sense of compassion for her, for me, for the pathos of the human condition. The tough owner stands at the top of the staircase. This image encapsulates in a single synoptic form the basic task of the whole analytic process to descend into the unconscious and to rescue or redeem the soul image that is imprisoned there.